You don't think that you can make art with paper scraps, right? Well, think again. Yeah, because think again, you can. folks. Dr. Dean is the art doctor, author of the new book, Creating Abstract Art. And joining us a little bit later, we're going to talk to two artists who are actually working right now on abstract art. Dr. Dean, the art doctor. Yes, I, I prefer the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> nice Make you feel a little here. doctoral. It's really impressive. Let's yeah. talk about the, the what we're doing today, what kind of abstract art we're creating. Well, uh, this is called co-creating. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, in my book, uh, both books, uh, Art from Intuition and Creating Abstract Art, uh, there are a number of projects where you're actually uh, working with a partner and uh, it's uh, kind of unusual because if you think about painting or drawing they tend to be one person uh, you know working uh, but the, the nice thing about doing something with a partner particularly an exercise like this uh, uh, you're leaving things up to chance uh, there's not necessarily a predictable or desired goal mm -hmm. uh, except uh, two things to have fun and to uh, create a composition that uh, that you both like. Right. So uh, Joanne Holt J and we also have Cassie uh, Cassie Graney. They're both here. They're artists, and they're actually working right now on this art by accident. So we're looking at them. Tell us what they're doing, Dean. Well, the, you can make up your own rules to this. But this actually began as a surrealist uh, parlor game. Uh, uh, way back uh, when, uh, early 19th century. The, um, uh, so the, the first part of this is actually just taking scraps of collage uh, paintings that, uh, that you don't like anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> taking and, old paintings, cutting them up. Uh, yeah, and basically tossing them into the air. And, uh, and so the deal is that uh, w they land where they land mm -hmm. and um, uh, they can push the pieces around a little bit, uh, but pretty much they have to glue them down where they so fall. So you have, you have very little control. It's, it really is. Wherever it happens, happens, yeah. and you have to go with the flow. Let's have Joanne, let's have them take a break from this artwork. Have Joanne and Cassie come on in. And we want to know what you enjoy. Hi, Joanne and Cassie. Hey, take a break on. from the artwork. Hello. What is it that you enjoy about creating this, doing this particular project, Art by Accident? Oh, it just opens up uh, your, your art practice because it's very easy to get in your head and very analytical when you're uh, just working alone in your studio. But a practice like this, working with another artist, it's art by chance, art by accident. And you just have to be open and realize that even when you think you're doing a controlled painting, you're actually not in control. <laughs> now we're going to be checking in with you all on a finished product later in the show because once we put all the paper down, the paints come out. Is that right? Yes. Right. All yeah. right. Yeah. I can't wait to see how it looks. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining us. Yeah. I'm going to put these down so that I can pick up the amazing art that we made oh. earlier on the show. Check this it. out. This was made uh, by the people uh, who were doing torn oh. paper art. And as you can see, they've painted it. It looks fantastic. I'm going to bring Ashley in here uh, because, you know, why not? Also, she's been eyeing these meatballs for the last <laughs> <laughs> time.